right guys, so this is the GMH-02, so uh, 28 pound with the batteries. Obviously having cordless is a huge luxury, so we are cutting the cord. So this one here has 20 foot-pounds of uh, striking power, so it's very impressive. It's gonna have about a runtime of 35 to 45 minutes, but it comes with a set of two batteries with a fast charger. So anytime that you go down, you're gonna have a fresh set of batteries ready to go. So if you guys wanna see how it works, I'll show you here. So you guys clearly see there's a lot of power out of it. So uh, we got the luxury of having no cord, no tripping hazard, and very low vibration. So huge call out on this one here. Thanks. This is Rufus Richardson, product manager of commercial products. We're here with the GEC01, 75.6 cc of power. Let's see it in action. Have an awesome day. Wow. No cheating. No cheating. You got one handed? No, I'll let the two that. Okay, give it. Here at the wall, concrete showing the new uh, XGT line for Makita, 40 volt and 80 volt. This will be our D handle, and the main feature here will be the anti vibration technology, our AWS, which is our Bluetooth capability, where you can connect it to our uh, XGT vacuum as well without needing a cord. Once you start it, automatically will get the uh, vacuum going. So I'll give a, do a quick demo here with this one. So 
just like that. On that, our newest addition coming this summer will be our smaller version with our integrated vacuum and filtration system, HEPA filter. Same thing, perfect for our overhead applications. Again, quick demo here. As you can see, there is no dust. All the extraction comes right out of the uh, vacuum and you can always just interchange the filter whenever you need it. Yep. Hi, I'm Austin Donahue, the Associate Product Manager of Ex uh, Commercial Construction Accessories here at Makita USA. At this booth, we're talking about the experience that you get with a premium accessory. So we have our four and a half inch turbo blade. We're running into a slab of concrete here just to show how smooth and predictable that experience is gonna be. Nice, clean, smooth cut. Also part of our accessory store here today, we're talking about the proprietary X-Lock technology. This is a toolless blade exchange compatible with our X-Lock grinders. All you have to do, flip up this switch here. You can change from application to application, whatever your blade requirements are. Beauty about this from the accessory side, these blades, if you're not quite on the X-Lock system or you've got a crew that's running X-Lock grinders and standard grinders, these blades are backwards compatible, so you can use them with either. How's it going, guys? My name's Tyler Brown, Associate Product Manager here at Makita, and I'm here to show you the GCU04 18-inch rear handle chainsaw on our XGT platform. We have four 6x6 six six logs here to emulate the 12-inch diameter cutting that you could expect to get out of this thing. Hey guys, my name's Eric Cornejo and I am the product man marketing manager for Makita Power Tools within our drilling and fastening category. And here in this station, what we want to demonstrate is the power and versatility of our 40 volt platform. You could go from our power cut, 80 volt power cut, 14 inch, to our one inch and 316 um, rotary hammer. So check out the power on this beast. You can see this thing hit. All right, guys, so now that we, we, we also got your solution for fastening. You're able to get this 40 volt impact wrench and drive this huge fastener here. Check out the power on this beast. Like butter. This is our, our DTEC 200C, the Bosch wall scanner. Uh, it was launched last year. It's replacing our old product. We get all the insights from, uh, from our users from the last product and then we improve this one. So this product can uh, scan up to eight inches in a dry concrete. Let's show how it works. After you choose the surface you want to work with, you just slide the product in the wall don't stop when you find materials. You just go and go back. And then the materials starts to pull up, pop up in the screen. And it will give you how deep it is, what kind of material it is. 
if you want, you can also change the view mode. And this will be the raw data from the product. So here is showing your signal. How strong is the material signal? This one is just plastic, fill up with concrete and can still find it. It can detect different materials, ferrous metal, non-ferrous metal, PVC pipe and rebars. Hi, I'm Will with Bosch and this is our new Pro Factor Recip Saw. It's our most powerful cordless recip saw. It's optimized for metal cutting uh, with one and eighth inch and uh, stroke length and 2,900 strokes per minute. But we've also got normal mode to make it a beast cutting wood. We got a saw hook, we got a spring inject, as well as a uh, patented quick insert blade technology. So rather than having one hand to hold the collar, one hand for the blade, and one hand for the tool, you can do it with two hands. and a built-in saw hook for uh, convenient storage. We're here at the Bosch booth of World of Concrete. My name's Mike and I want to walk you through all of our Pro Factor SDS Hammer lineup. Starting out, we've got the GBH18V-34, an inch and a quarter SDS Plus Hammer. It's the hardest hitting SDS Plus Hammer on the market with 4.3 foot-pounds of impact energy changing classes and going into SDS Max, we get into the GBH 18V-36 Pro Factor Hammer. Inch and 9 sixteenths, 5.2 foot-pounds of impact energy. Coming up to the hero of the show that we're debuting here at World of Concrete, the GBH 18V-40 inch and 5 ace SDS Max Hammer with 6.7 foot-pounds of impact energy. And finally, to top it all off, with our big daddy, inch and seven ace, GBH 18V-45C with 9.2 foot pounds of concrete crushing power. Mike here from Bosch Power Tools. We're talking about the GBH 18V-40 inch and five ace SDS Max rotary hammer. This hammer is a Pro Factor hammer delivering corded performance out of a cordless power tool. It's got 6.7 foot pounds of concrete crushing power. It's got kickback control and it can chip and drill as well. Let's put it to work. showing you our new blue collar which is this here on our chisels uh, it's basically a dust extraction way it comes with our I can quickly show you the chisels it comes with our best chisels that has our R tech technology that basically you get the energy when you chisel and it bounces back to the surface so you get more energy going to the surface to break and then you also have different Viper teeth here that helps to break that concrete. So it's always with these type of our tech chisels, we can get it with different uh, paddles and everything here on the bottom. But the, basically with the blue collar, you always get the best chisel and they come together already. So it's just a plug and play solution. So basically now I'll show you guys without the dust extraction. So you can see how much dust will come up and then we'll turn it on to give you the, the difference. So you see there's quite a lot of dust, and now we'll turn it on. As you can tell, 
well. It really pulls out all that dust, so you can have a very nice and clean work site. Hi, I'm Corey Hinkle, product manager with Bosch, and I'm here to talk about how I can get you from truck to cut in a matter of minutes. Intr introducing to you the ProFactor brushless eight and a quarter inch job site saw. The three things I want you to walk away with from, from my experience today is power and precision meet the ultimate portability with this saw. When we talk about power, we're talking about power and performance. We're able to get through the hardest of woods and we're able to get you 200 linear feet on a single charge and that's eight amp hour battery on a single battery. When I talk, talk about precision, no longer are the days of the knock and lock to get into those, those hard, to, hard to reach uh, measurements and make sure you're doing repeatable cuts. We actually have a dial up here to really allow you to micro adjust into every single cut. And oh, by the way, sometimes we have people asking, which scale should I be using on my, on my table saw? Well, we wanted to make that easier for you as well. So if you take a look, we have silver and black. Well, the bolts you're gonna line up are silver and black, so they coincide with what you're actually looking at. The other thing I want to keep, I want you to take a look at is sometimes when you put your battery on, you gotta keep that out of harm's way. However, how do I know how much juice is left in the tank in order for me to complete that cut? Well, Bosch also thought of that. So on the front, you know exactly how much gas is left in that tank before you make that cut. No longer are the days of risking scrap. We actually have you covered on that. Finally, we talked about the ultimate portability. This saw is just under 50 pounds. We have a nice center of gravity handle right here on the right. So you carry it like a briefcase on and off that site. So we can truly get you from truck to cut in a matter of minutes. Welcome everybody to the 2023 World of Concrete in Las Vegas, the Convention Center. So I'm with Radians. We also manufacture the DeWalt PPE. Today we're showing our DeWalt brand of PPE. Uh, one of the first things I'm gonna show you is our new DeWalt heated jacket. This is a dark navy blue. It's the newest color to the lineup that we've had. Uh, this is also the vest which I'm wearing today, which in Las Vegas okay. today, when it's about 42 degrees, feels pretty darn good. So. We've got a lot of uh, PPE that we've launched recently. Most recently, we have launched a new glove. This is a Cut 5 PU-coated touchscreen glove. So you can actually wear this glove and operate your uh, iPad, your cell phone with it. So it's very, very thin, very, very comfortable to wear on the job sites. So some of the other things that we have launched over the past few years, obviously this vest has become one of our best sellers, the DSP 521. It's a supervisor, uh, surveyor style vest. You can see the features that it has, it does have the uh, back D-ring pass-through on it. Uh, very popular for uh, supervisors, project managers, and the like. So a lot, some of our new gloves that we have introduced on the mechanic style gloves, this is our DPG 211. We came out with this about a year ago. It's been a great seller. It's not a cut resistant glove, but great for handling uh, rough objects when you're working on the job and you're busting concrete, it's still a great, great glove. So anyway, check these items out. You can check out our website, which is radians.com. Look for the DeWalt line of PPE. You can see all of our products there. Thanks again. Hey, Acme Tool, I'm Chris. I'm DeWalt product manager for Concrete Roto and Demolition Hammer. I want to introduce to you today the brand new 27 pound inline SDS Max shipping hammer. It has 27 duels of impact energy, shocks, wireless tool control. You will get tough applications done quickly.
Okay, so I'm excited to talk about DeWalt's new Elite Series 4 Cutter SDS Plus and the Elite Series SDS Max products. We've got the full range. Uh, they're four, four cutters, full head carbide. Very unique cutting design compared to traditional four cutters and two cutters. It brings the best of both worlds from for the two cutter with the speed and then the durability with the four cutter. In addition to that, we back up all of our four cutter and two cutter with a no break guarantee, no questions asked. As long as our wear mark indicator is on the side of the bit when it, when it breaks or wears down, we'll replace it free of charge. On the max, the wear mark indicator is on the flute. It's a little notch cut out in the side of the flute. Regular SDS plus and max, we also offer a full range of hollow drill bits. These drill bits help users complete the job faster by eliminating the secondary steps of cleaning out the holes and come in a wide variety of sizes and lengths depending on the application. And then finally we have a series of rebar cutters, the only ones in the marketplace that are designed to be used in hammer mode, making the job faster and easier for the user. So my name is Nick with the DeWalt Anchors and Fastening product management team. I'm here to introduce our new Pure Epoxy Anchor, Pure 220. Uh, it joins Pure 50, Pure 110. Uh, it performs at a uh, over 20% premium to our existing Pure range, so 20% stronger. Uh, the formulation is 25% easier to dispense, which helps in colder weather dispensing with our manual dispensers, our cordless dispensers. Uh, like other premium uh, chemical anchors, it'll have all the uh, approvals uh, needed. It'll have a, in addition, it'll have a core drill hole approval, it won't, which won't need a roughening tool like some of our competition. So it removes an installation step, saves time. Um, and like our other, like Pure 110, it's approved with our, our new and improved dust extractor within our Dust X Plus dustless insulation system um, and, and I mean that's that's our our new introduction for for chemical anchoring at World of Concrete 2023 all right hey how's it going everyone today we're gonna talk about our Ultracom plus screw lineup so these are white right here Ultracom plus hex headed screws we also have these in blue silver and bronze what we want to show you all today is our complete DeWalt universal dust extraction system. This right here is a Table 1 OSHA compliant system. This is one of our rotary hammer drills, our DCH133. New power stack battery on here for more power. This is our DeWalt universal dust extraction system, all Table 1 compliant. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be dr drilling into the material. Behind this is CMU. We're going to then put in the screw with the same system. This right here is a 5 30 seconds bit. Then you put the collar over top of it for attachment and installation. So let me show you how it's done. Lee with Husqvarna and talk to you about our uh, K1 Pace product. This is our new 94 volt uh, battery platform. Uh, runs our uh, K1 saws. We have some new products coming down the road with the, the new D120 Pace VAC system that will be coming out later this year. What's really awesome about this saw is it's designed to handle the, the, uh, the workloads for a larger 12 inch and 14 inch diameter blade on a uh, 
power cutter. Uh, you have two battery plat uh, battery sizes with a four amp hour and an eight amp hour. Uh, the eight amp hour battery will give you up to 750 watt hours of stored energy. So if you're cutting reinforced concrete, uh, those type of things will get you, you know, almost six inches deep um, and get you uh, be able to handle the, the, the the heat and the amp draw necessary to do that. If you want a little bit lighter weight, cutting pavers, block, brick, those type of things, we have a smaller four amp hour battery um, that's uh, great for those applications and a lighter weight on the saw. Super excited about this product and uh, love for you to come by and take a look. This is our LG 504. This is the new updated version that we have. We've made a couple of um, changes to this. One of the biggest changes that we had here is we changed the engine. So instead of having a HOTS 1D81Z engine, we went to the 1D90E. So it's electronic fuel injected. What that does for us, it actually makes it a lot more efficient as far as um, run times and also start times. This machine is a standard machine with completely all the options. So we, it will come with the compaction indicator, hour meter. The other thing that we were able to do once we changed our engine is we were able to take our throttle control handle away and now the throttle is done with just a switch. Outside of that, we have the same features as all the other units where you have the um, forward and reverse. You hold the handle down for a couple minutes, it'll go forward. You hold it the other way for a few minutes, it'll actually go backwards. The nice thing about that, it allows you to keep your hands on the handle at all times to be able to operate the machine. Outside of this machine, we have one more machine that's here that's new. It's gonna be our LFE 60. So this is our um, new battery um, operated forward plate. This is our LFE 60. So like our all of our other forward plates, it does come um, standard with transport wheels. You have the um, reduced vibration handle and also comes with a water tank for asphalt application. We partnered with Honda itself, so we use the Honda EGX 72 volt battery. The nice thing about this machine is it doesn't matter what, what weather you're in or what altitude you're in, it's a simple push of the button to start the machine up and you're automatically moving. And that's the newest machine we have with battery. We're also working with Honda for the, our um, rammer, and then we'll continue to um, develop our battery for our other products here. Hi, I'm Joyce Kara, the Product Marketing Manager for Core Drills here at Husqvarna. I wanted to introduce our new five, DM540i Core Drill. It is a battery-powered Core Drill with our BLI battery series, so this battery is interchangeable with all our other battery products as well. Um, this is a this is a, um, a handheld as well as um, a stand drill. Uh, it can be used both for dry cutting as well as wet cutting. It has two speeds, and um, that helps give us a larger RPM range in order to go from a one inch to a four inch drill bit size. Um, it does have dual level indicators, whether you're using it vertically or horizontally, you can easily see the, the indicators. Uh, very nice, um, easy to use uh, display area, has a battery indicator as well as a load overload indicator, which is, helps on saving with your drill bit. Um, nice ergonomic handle um, and a trigger grip. What's really nice about it though is it's super lightweight. It is um, about 15 pounds, which is um, a good six and a half pounds lighter than what you'll find out in the industry today. The battery here can, can be interchanged. You'll see it's a pass-through battery. So what that does is not only helps keep the battery cool, but it helps keep debris and slurry from getting into the unit. It also keeps it very well balanced, so it's very ergonomic and because of the light weight and also the length is only about 11 inches, so it's very compact, very easy to use. Um, the other um, thing I wanted to mention too is it does come in, in a kit with the ba two batteries, a charger and the drill of course, and then also the water coupler 
um, and for the, uh, the, the vacuum coupler as well, um, and even the wrenches to help um, get it onto the stand. So it's a, a complete kit. It also comes with the actual carton as well, nice durable um, kit. We're here at the Husqvarna booth today at World of Concrete 2023, and we're gonna talk some diamond tools. Um, Husqvarna is a manufacturer of diamond tools. We manufacture here in the United States with Made in America products. We also have factories in uh, Sweden and in Bulgaria. All of our uh, design and testing and implementation is done in-house with our R&D team and our product team. And so we're gonna show you some of our diamond tools and how they pair to our equipment here at World's Concrete. So one of the things we do as a manufacturer of diamond tools, we are also a manufacturer of equipment. So all of the equipment you see here at World of Concrete is made by Husqvarna. So to really to get the most effective uh, performance out of the saw, you need to have the right diamond blade. And so what we're looking at here on this on this FS524 is our very cut range. Very cut is a, a middle middle silver um, level price level for us at Husqvarna. And this is a wide window blade that'll cover green concrete, asphalt, and some brick and block. You'll notice when you look at the, at the, at the blade, there are a, a few different uh, types of segments in design. We have a, a deep segment, which we use for undercutting, and then we have a straight and a turbo segment. Combining these all together protects the core and gives a free, a smooth and free uh, cutting product that will be in a wide window of application. So that's the uh, very cut range on the FS524. Along in our range, this is our new FS600E electric flat saw. It's a push model, and um, with lower horsepower electric, you get a really consistent output of power. But what we did to, uh, to marry with this saw is we developed a new blade called Exogrit. It's our uh, a proprietary segment uh, geometry. You can see here it's got dim dimples on the side of the segment and it's got uh, what we call a, a turbo cast castellation here. What this does is the dimples reduce side friction and the turbo uh, gives a faster cutting and start out of the box. So this is a really smooth cutting um, blade that matches perfectly with this electric motor. So th this blade is designed for fast free cutting in, uh, in basements, indoor work, and really to, to take the, uh, the effort away from the operator so the, the saw does the work. This is our Elite Cut Gold Exogrit uh, blade that is perfect for the electric flat saw. All right. So we've gone from the small flat saws up to our largest in our fleet. This is a, a 70 horsepower uh, deep saw. It takes up to a 60 inch blade. This is ideal for airports, bridges, um, highway sawing where the concrete's really thick. And so we've got a 60 inch blade on it today, um, which will cut 25 inches deep, but you don't start with that blade. Here on our, on our display stand, you'll notice we've got a series of blades, and this is what we call our deep, our deep sawing set. So you start with an 18 inch blade that's a quarter inch wide, and then you progressively increase your diameter and reduce your segment thickness until you get up to the 60 inch that does your final cut. So as a manufacturer, we can work and customize this type of um, blade setup for the customer's application. So that productivity, speed of cut, and getting the job done in time is effective. All right, so again, this is the uh, Husqvarna deep saw set. Up to 60 inches, 25 inches deep. Good. So what you just saw there is our, our full range of power cutter blades for gas and electric in our Prime Series. They cover from gold, which is our elite level, through uh, silver, which is our very cut, down to bronze, which is our tacky cut. So these blades can really pair into a rental situation, a professional contractor, a general contractor. They can really pick the right blade for their application. And as I mentioned out on the other equipment, you'll notice when you look at when you look at the video that we have different segment geometries for different applications, and that really ties into the performance level that the customer wants to reach through our, our gold, silver, and bronze. My name is Tim McAtee. I work for Husqvarna. I'm a super strut specialist. I focus on concrete prep and polish for the concrete industry. I cover my territory is going to be Ohio, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and West Virginia. Today we're going to be talking about the 830 propane. This is the newest addition to our fleet. Though the 830 design and head has been around for a couple years, what we're able to do this year, we have maximized our product offering to the market with a propane motor. Kawasaki and Husqvarna partnered to build this machine here. 
It's a Kawasaki Drive 30 horsepower motor with an Onyx fuel system on it. The partnership with Onyx is not just a fuel system, but it's a fuel injection system, bringing you more sustainability, more power, longer run time, and more efficiency in your tanks. And considering your cost of propane right now, it's going to make it more agile and it's going to make it your production go through the roof. We don't typically put percentages on productions when it comes to these units because it's all essentially connected to the hardness of your concrete. This is a three-headed system and right now as it sits here, it does have the CO2 sensing on it as well as the ambient air. We went ahead and one of our biggest design changes this year was changing the hook lift point because we will be offering at Q3 this year a water tank that will be right here on top for a misting system. Also with our new regulator system up here, we made everything up front and top for serviceability. The machine's gonna come in three different options or three different settings for your throttle. At minimum setting, it's gonna be roughly 1080 RPM, so 1080 RPMs. The clutch on this um, particular unit is a centrifugal clutch. It doesn't actually start engaging until you start throttling up at about 1250 to 1280 is when your clutch starts to engage. At full engagement, you're about 2650 RPMs, and that's gonna be your minimum setting is already on preset and uh, set at 2700. Max setting on this unit here is gonna be 3400 RPMs. You're gonna have your key setting, your check engine light is gonna monitor two, uh, two essential systems. The big essential system that it's gonna monitor is gonna be uh, the CO2 sensor as well as the oil pressure. And if you do get the check engine light, that's what's gonna be working at this point. Being a power system, what's really important is to maintain and sustain power. All of our propane units will come with power shutoffs in the back. At the end of the day, save your batteries. Make sure that you have the right power to come in the next day. All you're going to do is going to come in. The initial audible alarm is this system's check. It's going to start checking CO2 at this point. It's going to check your ambient air, make sure that it's ready to fire up. It will give you an audible alarm once your CO2 saturation increases and becomes dangerous for the operator. And at, what, at that point, it will eventually shut itself down to protect the operator. Because of the weight of the unit, having the kickstand is probably one of the more ergonomic approaches to be you know, safe for yourself, safe for your backs. Uh, and it also provides an opportunity for us larger guys, smaller guys to be able to pull the machine back and rock it all the way. If you do decide to go to the weight system on it, take your weights all the way back. They are pressure sensor or pressure loaded. And it goes all the way back very easily. We have the rubber boot skirt up front that is adjustable for the height of your tooling. As your tooling wears, you adjust your shirt to go with it. One of the greatest features that I find when it comes to these units is the effort we made to make a serviceable unit. Getting a unit that you can actually work on the field doesn't require a mechanics license, doesn't require you paying thousands of dollars in shipping to get it to a service center. And very simply, the smallest thing is a screwdriver, Small, small mini crowbar and an impact, you can change your own belt on this machine in under an hour. The industry standard for over the years, you're looking at four to six hours on your typical belt change. This one here is the exact opposite. The efficiency of having a serviceable machine is everything when it comes in the field. External servicing, or external tensioning starts right here. You just loosen your bolt. You got the arrow that tells you the direction you go for that tension and then you can set it up as you go so you can do all your own work in the field. There's absolutely no reason a belt job on this machine should take more than an hour, unless you got a pretty dirty machine and you got to clean off a lot of bolts, which we understand. All the skirt bolts around the outside of the clamshell, you got roughly 12 of them. You remove those out with 15 millimeter uh, socket, and then you're gonna have a 32 millimeter socket here in the middle. 
everything we do here is just all about efficiency. We don't want you to think you have to buy a lot of tools or a lot of parts to keep it up and running. The locker plate, you have locker points right here. These are shear points. So when you, again, you're in the field, when your guy, something's hidden in the concrete, you don't see it, you shear something off. These lockers are designed to shear to the event that you have that oops, it's not an expensive oops. All machines come with replacing lockers. Love comes out, you actually got a bushing in the back to help keep it flexible and help absorb some of that energy as well. Again, I think at the end of the day, it's all about having a machine that as an operator, you feel the confidence that you can sustain service and operations that keep it running for a long time. At this point in time, the way our service intervals on the belt, we're suggesting a thousand. At a minimum, most of these machines in the field have been running for an upwards of two or three thousand hours in between belts. We're gonna go ahead and set it back up. When it comes to working this in this particular field, the last thing you wanna do is feel like you have to have a machine that needs to be manhandled. With the ergonomics of the machine, with the weight design, the kickstand in the back, and having a unit that one has the all right power, 30 horsepower of muscle behind it, the efficiency of three-stage operation. It's gonna be a home run for the field. Guys are gonna really love this. We've already had it out there, put it in the hands of some of our end users. The feedback has been great. Guys wanna work and they wanna work fast and get a lot done. When it comes to propane, you don't have to worry about running power. Thank you. Concrete. This is the MX Fuel 20 inch plate compactor. This plate compactor hits harder and travels fastest. It has the highest travel speed out of any plate compactor in the class. However, we don't sacrifice compaction. We have one of the highest centrifugal forces hitting hard, harder than gas plates. We also have no gas headaches, which is huge because when you operate these in trenches or indoors, fumes can be a big issue. Also greater control. All of your user interface is right up at the handlebar. Push button control, you have arm, Forward, reverse, this is the only play compactor in this class that has a reverse feature on it and two speeds. Lastly, we get about 30 minutes of runtime on one battery or over 4,500 square feet, which is the size of a basketball court and that's continuous runtime. The only other thing too, we've got a foldable handlebar. Compact storage, great if you're hooking and strapping it, carrying it around the job site, way safer than having that handlebar swinging around. Thanks. Hi, my name is Young. I'm with Milwaukee Tool. Today I'm excited to introduce two new products that we'll be launching later this year. Here we have the MX Fuel 36 inch walk behind trowel. Over there we have the MX Fuel 24 inch walk behind trowel. Both trowels deliver five horsepower performance, giving you the ability to pan, finish, and burn in the concrete floor. Being battery powered, there's obviously no gas emissions, perfect for indoor as well as occupied space work. In addition, you can use these outdoors give you a safer, more comfortable trawling experience. In terms of runtime, you get about 25 minutes on the 36 inch. This is at full throttle. Will come with three 12 amp hour batteries as well as a supercharger. 24 inch, 35 minutes of runtime at full throttle. Will come with two HD 12 amp hour batteries as well as a supercharger. MX Fuel walk behind trials and I'll run this one for you to see. Thank you.
All right, so with our new MX Fuel 6 inch green concrete saw, everything you need to operate the tools at the touch of your fingertips. Everything from raising and lowering the guide arm, engaging the blade speed, uh, as well as arming and disarming the tool. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and cut our control joint. Now on a traditional soft cut unit, that lifting of the guide arm would have to be done by hand while the tool is still running, disrupting your cut. Again, everything needed to keep a smooth operation on this tool at the touch of your fingertips. So welcome into the Milwaukee Tool booth here at World of Concrete 2023. Here we're at the coring station. So with MX Fuel's first arrival onto the scene, we had the handheld core drill where the focus was safety, versatility, portability. Now though, for 2023, we are announcing the MX Fuel core rig. So this core rig does have a maximum diameter capacity of 14 inches. It has the power to cut through reinforced concrete and you will get four 10 inch holes per charge on this MX Fuel core rig through reinforced concrete. The idea here being something bigger, something that keeps up with you and the needs that you have on your job site. And really at Milwaukee, what we strive to do within every category, but especially within our rotary hammers, is focus on safety and productivity of the end user. So what we've got behind me here is some of our newer solutions. These are our SDS Plus one inch hammer, as well as um, our larger 2916. This is an inch and a quarter hammer. And what we've done with these tools is really optimize both the efficiency, so how fast you can drill, this is gonna be your fastest drilling in class versus any other corded, cordless, rotary hammer. And we've also included some typical safety features that are required on site to keep people up safe. We've got our upgraded hammer vacs, which are gonna help collect dust and keep everything table one compliant, as well as our auto stop technology. So if somebody is drilling and they hit rebar or unexpected aggregate, you can see the light on the back. The tool is gonna to sense that bind up and keep the operator safe. So now we'll just show you the drilling performance and uh, wrap up that productivity and safety story. So as you can see, not only is it fast at drilling, but you've got that dust extraction keeping the site clean as you work. All right, hello everybody. My name is Tim Schelling. I'm a product manager over our masonry and concrete accessories for Milwaukee Tool. Excited to be here at World of Concrete 2023. Our accessories, we are a full solutions provider. All the way from dust compliant SDS Plus and SDS Max vacuum bits, up to rebar cutters specific for drilling and rebar, giving you three times longer life in rebar drilling and 10 times faster speeds than a drill bit. Even moving down to our drill bits, we have full range solid head carbide going all the way up to two inch. Huge advantage, we can offer that full head solid carbide on the tip for the users. More durability, more speed, giving you more life out of the bit. Moving on to sledge, 
our innovative designs are designed to be hold the shape of the edges, allowing for sharper cuts in concrete, faster chipping, and staying sharper longer throughout the cut, giving you more life. All the way down to our two cutter drill bits and as well as our pack out accessories. This is only a small portion of what we offer. Milwaukee Tool is dedicated to the concrete user. We wanna make sure we're providing them with the most durable, longest lasting, and fastest drilling in the full range of concrete solutions. Hi guys, my name is Terry Kobayashi with Max USA Corp. This is World of Concrete 2023, and it is our third year anniversary for the manufacture of rebar tying tools. So if you take a look over here, we have the uh, Museum of Rebar Tying History. This came out in 1993. It was a very different tool, NICAD battery. Uh, as you can see, the magazine is, is exposed. Uh, looks very different from what we have today. And from there, we've changed platforms to 3992, 395. These are all platforms that use the 21 gauge wire. And in 2017, we have the 441T, the first twin tire rebar tire tool. 19 gauge, it's called a twin tire because when you open it, you got two wires come out at the same time. So it's really, really quick. You got 240 ties per reel and the battery's gonna give you about 5,000 ties. How it works, you're turning the tool on in the back right here. And over here, you got the grid. All I gotta do is just put it in the cross section at a 45 degree angle. Most back end of the mouth of the tool, pull the trigger. As you can see, it's got a very low profile. If you wanna do a figure eight, just cross it over like that. There you go. And it ties out actually half a second approximately for a tie. It's very quick because of the twin tire system. And it's even got a pullback mechanism so it actually pulls uh, the rebar together more closely. And it's the tightest rebar tying tool that we make at Max USA Corp. Hi guys, this is the RB611T. This is the largest capacity rebar tying tool that we have in the market and is made by Max USA Corp. This tool does from five on five to number nine to 10 rebar. The way it works is very easy. Uh, in the back, you got an on and off switch, just turn it on. And the dial, if you wanna make it tight, put out a six. If you're doing something that is just a slab or something like that, you wanna put it on a four. And you got a rebar tying grid right here. Just put it on the cross section at a 45 degree angle and pull the trigger. And as you can see, it's got a really low profile. So if you wanna do a figure eight-esque tie, <laughs> you just, uh, tie right over it. There's actually a, a wire bending mechanism. It's uh, automatically bended downwards for a lower profile. And as you can see, it's very fast. Uh, ties at actually half a second per shot. And if you're tying, let's say five on five, that's gonna give you about 210 ties per reel. And it's called a twin tire, of course, because two wires come at the same time. For one of these batteries, if you have a 5.0 ampere, you're gonna do about 5,000 ties per charge. Hi guys, this is the RB401TE, the latest addition to the twin tire family. Uh, we got all the benefits that the twin tires already have, including of course, when you open it, you got the two double wires in there. So you're gonna get uh, half a second per shot, the TW1061T wire. And uh, another feature is the uh, contact switch. So this tool, actually, you don't have to pull the trigger with your fingers. Once it hit the rebar, the contact switch, it actually ties for you. You flip it over, you turn the tool on with the on and off button at the top. And of course, if you want to make a tight tie, you want to put the dial at number six. So now with that said, you come to the slab right here. All you got to do is just hit the contact switch nice and easy. And you actually don't need to really slam the tool down. It's a feather touch. And that's all there is to it right there. Uh, each spool is going to give you about 240 ties. And this tool is able to tie from three on three rebar to six on six. So if you have any slab, Job size, this is the one that you'll be wanting to use as long as uh, the chairs are about a uh, minimum one and a half an inch, or if you have two inch chairs, this tool is gonna be uh, perfect for you guys. <laughs>